If you couldn't already tell by the accent, I am from Scotland and that obviously comes with its perks. It's a gorgeous country. It has great landscapes for astrophotography and excellent dark skies. However, I'm currently suffering from the twilight that we have been in for the last few months. If you weren't already aware, this is because in the summer months, Scotland doesn't actually get completely dark at night. We sit in a sort of constant state of twilight due to our high latitude, which is an absolute pain as it technically rules out deep sky astrophotography for quite a long period of time. Creating an astrophotography server on Discord is one of the things that I've been doing to keep me sane, if you like, through these light summer months and it's been an excellent project. I've been loving keeping up the astro essentially through it and most importantly I have loved chatting to you guys, engaging with you guys over astrophotography, seeing your incredible images, your amazing setups, helping some beginners out. It has been an absolute blast. So in today's video I'm going to give you a detailed walkthrough bit by bit of the server and just what it has to offer. It's certainly what's kept me going through these summer months and I really hope you get something out of it and we can continue to build this community, especially as Scotland regains darkness. And I have so many ideas and plans and things that I want to do, but I just haven't been able to because of... <laughs> it's killed me off, can you tell? The only disclaimer that has to be given is that there's one channel within the Discord that is reserved for my patrons over on Patreon and you gain access when you join. It's just one pound a month and there's a link in the description below. This is a much smaller group within the server. It's private and you get access to a set of raw data from either myself or fellow patrons every month. You can edit it together, you can chat about it, and it's in a much more enclosed one-to-one -one environment with myself and other patrons. If this is something that would interest you, click the link in the description and go and check it out. There's a wonderful group of people building on there, which is really exciting. And the rest of the server is completely free. I purposefully wanted to make it this way so that it was as accessible as possible to everyone. So, exciting stuff. Okay, welcome to the Discord server. This is the welcome section at the top where you get a wee hello lets me know that you've joined and you get a few things to do to get you started and settled feeling at home. This is found in Monin or come on in as I like to say at the top of the server. However before we get into the generic channels if you will there are a couple that I'd like to highlight first because I'm really proud of them they're really exciting and I'd love to get more people in on them. So if we scroll down to the bottom of gallery here we find behind the lens. And this is essentially a monthly pick of a member's story. So every month I get you guys to send me in your astrophotography related stories and I'll post one a month at the start of every month to share with the rest of the server. And I see this as an opportunity to show everything in the hobby. If it's a good story, if it's a bad story, if it's emotional in any way, if you had a tiresome night out in the field, if you're proud of something, if something's gone really well, if you've made something, a project you've just finished, I want to hear the story. Even though a lot of these stories will talk about technicalities, I want this channel to also talk about your personal experiences within the hobby. And as you can see, members have really gone above and beyond and it started loads of amazing conversation. There's been videos and photos posted and loads of great chat started. So if you'd like to be a part of this, I'm not going to show you all of them obviously because I want it to be a surprise for you when you come in and I want you to actually go through and read them for yourself. But if you'd like to be a part of this, definitely find your way to Behind the Lens in the gallery. The second channel that I really love is called Analog Astro. And it's essentially a channel that merges astrophotography with analogue film. And the folk in here are incredibly intelligent. Like honestly, every time I come in here, I learn something new. 
It's insane and it's so interesting to read and it follows these folks interested in using analog film to take pictures of the night sky, their success and how they're getting on with it. So I really recommend if this is something that you're interested in to make your way into analog astro and talk to the guys in there. Okay, back at the top now to welcome. Announcements is pretty self-explanatory and it's got cringy photos of my face on YouTube thumbnails that I don't really need to see again. <laughs> and the section down from announcements is about, so it just gives a wee blurb of the server. This is where you can come in and put where you're from in the world, which is really exciting. And the section down from get rules is introductions. This is one of my favourites, again, oh, they're all my favourites, but this is where you can put a little bit about yourself, where you're from, your connection to astrophotography, it just allows everyone to get to know one another. Um, and I've read through everyone and it makes us all feel a bit more connected as a community. So definitely pop in here when you join the server to say hello. Below introductions is the housekeeping category rules boring yet very important just takes you through some community rules that I expect everyone to follow within the server but of course you're all wonderful and lovely and there's not a problem with this at all it's just so they're there and you can refer back to them. Open a ticket is essentially if you ever have a problem within the server you can open a little message privately to myself and Caleb who are the two moderators within the server and you can send a wee message to us if you've got any concerns and we'll privately discuss it with you. So it's a really useful feature. Hats off to Caleb for organising all of this by the way. He is a Discord whiz and I couldn't have done it without him. He's such a great mod to be on with and yeah it's just a pleasure running the server with him all around. The next section down is patrons only. I'm not going to go through it for obvious reasons because it's privatised but this is exactly what I was talking about earlier. You've got your wee monthly edit channel here where I place the raw data for every month so it doesn't get lost and this is the channel where it gets discussed in. So if you'd like to be a part of that and we'd love to have you click the link to the Patreon in my description below. Next up we've got general patter, the category, general chat, whatever you like to call it and in here it's pretty self-explanatory. People can just chat away, post their recent projects in a very informal section of the server. People are posting drawings, their pets, anything goes here you can just really get to know one another. Next up is astrophotography general which is more sort of focused on astrophotography itself um, and yeah this is again really self-explanatory people can post whatever they wish in here about their most recent projects you can see some absolutely beautiful photos coming up that I need to catch up on so yeah if you're looking for sort of a more general gab with the rest of the folks in the server and you don't really mind your stuff getting lost in streams of thought then this is certainly for you. Astro Uni, oh, this is another one of my favourite channels um, and a wee bit more a wee bit more unique as well. Folk are posting about their societies and uni, clubs near them, equipment that their unis have and yeah I love comparing, I love listening to others that are getting involved in astronomy at uni, getting involved in their societies, oh there's me. <laughs> so yeah if you're a student at uni and you have a society, you're part of a society or your uni has a telescope etc 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 this is where to post all of that and chat about it so another really exciting one. Star parties is one for posting events, anything that's happening in and around your area. This is a great one because everyone is obviously from all corners of the globe but things can be posted in here and folk can find it that are near those areas so you can buddy up, make pals, it's a really great place for getting together with other folk in the server. The blatherbothy I'm not going to click on because then I'm going to accidentally put myself into a voice chat and really embarrass myself <laughs> is where you can go for a live chat, a live voice chat with others in the server. I'm hoping to standardise these more and get them going 
sort of every month maybe and do one with everyone in the Discord server, which will be really exciting. But yeah, these are completely free to use. You can hop on here anytime. If you're in, say, a chat in general and you want it to get more specific and you want to have a one-on-one, -on -one, get in the general voice chat and folk can help you out. Next up is the gallery, which is a free for all. You just post your images in here when you want, when you get them, details about them, literally anything goes, it's so simple. And you can post them under various categories, Milky Way, deep sky objects, planetary, aurora, and solar. And then I come in at the end of the month and I do Helena's top picks, where I choose my favorite photo, from each category, post it up, post a little bit about why I loved it. Okay, moving on down now to Gear Gab, we've got Equipment General, which is a chat related to all things equipment and anything goes in this channel. It's a little bit more specific to Astrophotography General as it only covers gear. I'd like to just note that if there's anything that you guys really want specific advice on, and you want to keep track of that in a more isolated manner, then the Astrophotography Forum is where you want to be placing your questions because stuff in general chats like this can get lost so easily. So that's why I've created the Astrophotography Forum. It hasn't had to be used yet, but that is why it's there. But yeah, that's the purpose of this one. There's been some such interesting chat, 3D star trackers, is the most recent one going on recently. So this is, yeah, the more, a more specific channel, I should say, to astrophotography general. And then we've got share your setup, which is a great one when you've just joined as well as introductions and you can make us drool a little bit over the gear that you're using. I mean, some of the stuff in here is insane, like genuinely insane. Um, making me very jealous that I can't be with my telescopes at home while I'm up for uni. But oh my goodness me, I mean this is actually just not fair. <laughs> like I got all of this at the moment. But yeah, some great stuff in here. Drool over other people's equipment. Show off your own. A really fun wee channel. Another channel that's quite similar to Analog Astro in the sense that the folk in it are absolutely crazy in the best way possible and they have so much knowledge behind them is DIY equipment and when you go in here you can post or look at equipment that people are making themselves, DIYing themselves, lots of mirror stuff going on for telescopes, lots of telescopes being built. Remote imaging is one that I've literally just put in, so not a lot is going on with it obviously, but this is if you've got a setup elsewhere. If you don't have access to a garden or a dark sky site and you've sent your equipment elsewhere to a remote observatory, to photograph the night sky, for example. This is the place to post your results, your equipment, your progress, how it's going in here. Um, I'd really love to see more in here. Up next is favorite online resources. This is a great one for beginners because no chat goes on in here, no general chit chat at all. It's just the posting of links that folk find helpful. So it's great for folk just starting out that are looking for reputable resources, reputable sites, places to buy equipment, field of view calculators, anything like that, help with camera settings, that sort of thing. So people post links in here to resources that they have found helpful in their astrophotography journey. And it's a really great place to come and have a wee nosy at to see if anything will help you on your way but as I said earlier, if there's anything specific you'd like answered, please put it in the astrophotography forum and you can keep track of that conversation. In the last category for now, because <laughs> I 100% will probably add more stuff, is editing. And we've got the editing general chat, which is again another sort of specialised chat away from astrophotography general that focuses on editing. So you can post your editing processes in here, the stuff that you use to edit, your final results. Again, really helpful for those starting out just to read through it and understand how different everyone's processing is to one another, which I think is a really important thing to realize when you start that there's no one way to process anything. You can also in this channel ask for advice and people will give their thoughts on your images, 
but I've also put a specific section in the whole category of editing called constructive critiques. And this is specifically for if you're looking for advice on an image or an edit halfway through that you're doing, you're not too sure of, you can stick it in here, people get back to you. And I've put at the top, be nice, pals. <laughs> Just be nice to one another. Only give constructive criticism if people are asking for it, but this is a great space to do so. Finally, for now, the public data forum is an area in the server that you can post some data, raw data for other members to practice editing. And they can go in and download your data and practice from it. This is obviously within reason. They can't post your data out with the server. They have to tag you when they use it within the server when they're sharing it. This is a great space whether you have your own equipment and you're just wanting a bash and edit, if it's cloudy, if you're in twilight, <laughs> things like that. But it's also great if you're a complete beginner, you've never edited before, you haven't even got equipment and you just want to have a bash at it and take it step by step. This is a great place and yeah, really grateful for the folk that are sharing their data in here. It's just such a lovely community of people. If any of this has interested you and you want a wee hi pal from Astro Turtle, click the link in the description to my Discord, completely free to come and join us and we absolutely cannot wait to see you. I really hope you guys got something from that, something a wee bit different today. If there are any features you'd like added, anything you think's missing or anything you'd find useful, please let me know. It's all very much a work in progress. None of it is set in stone and I really want it to be a huge collaborative effort to create. So yeah, as always, just get in touch. Thank you so much guys for tuning in. It's going to be an exciting few months. There's even there's even pieces of gear that I haven't been able to get out with yet because we haven't regained darkness properly. So I am very, very excited for all of this to happen. It just feels like it's all been postponed, which is a shame, but it's going to be a busy and an exciting few months. And I'm really glad that you are being taken along for the ride with me. I'll see you in the next video, but until then, get yourselves under those skies, guys.